Hello everyone. Uh, as you can see, I got a bunch of stuff on the table today. Uh, I, basically, this is what came inside of an Amazon box. It was just a brown Amazon box, no instructions. I just pulled everything out. Um, and you might be wondering, what is this for? Well, if you read the description, you probably know what it's for. Uh, but anyways, um, so I've received a lot, I shouldn't say I received, I purchased a lot of Star Wars The Black Series helmets lately. Uh, in the past, what I've done is hung them from the, the wall. Um, and I think I've done a video on that. If not, I'm gonna do another one because I've got more I gotta put on the wall too. Um, but uh, I'm going to expand and put some of them on the shelves. So this is just gonna be hopefully an option for us to be able to display our Black Series helmets on shelves as opposed to being limited to walls or just you know putting it on the shelf plain without um, any you know decoration or anything else. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm going at this blind, I'm seeing these for the first time just like you are, uh, so hopefully you can learn from my mistakes because I guarantee I'm gonna be ma making some mistakes. Uh, so go ahead and ask uh, any questions that you might have down below. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. All right, so, okay. This looks like the main base area here. So as you can see, these are two different um, helmet display stands. Um, okay, and they they were pretty inexpensive. You know, most of these that I've seen on Amazon go for anywhere between twenty five and forty dollars a piece. Uh, these. This set here, I believe, was $20 for both of them. Don't quote me on that. And as we all know, Amazon prices change all the time. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a trusty screwdriver. I just had one. There we go. And we're just going to unscrew this. Like I said, no instructions, so I'm kind of going at this blindly, um, but it looks pretty self-explanatory. So looks like we're just gonna line that up in there. Do that. Sorry about that noise. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got that started. Go ahead and finish that off. See if this will fit. Shouldn't need any more than that height, especially since you guys can't see that. So let's go pan up. There we go, we got the dome top. And I just recently unboxed the first order Stormtrooper helmet. And there we go. Let's pan up again. I think that looks much better than just being flat on the desk. Um, so really happy about this so far. I'm gonna go ahead and put together the other one and then we can go ahead and uh, see how they look side by side. All right, so let's go ahead and try it out with Wedge's helmet. And, okay, that's a fail. Uh, <laughs> it looks like it works really well with the First Order helmet here. Um, I'll go ahead and try it out with the uh, some of the other ones, but I have a feeling most of the full buckets will work out great. Pilots, probably not so well, so they'll either need to go flat or um, also up on the wall, I'll insert a picture here so you can kind of see what I mean by that. Um, if you have any questions about the, uh, <laughs> the, the stand here, uh, feel free to ask down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll leave a link so you can take a look at them. Like I said, they were like 20 bucks for both of them, so it's not a bad deal. There are plenty of other stands. I'll probably look at some other options, especially as some of the new Mandalorian helmets come out, uh, so I can put them up on the shelves as well, because they, they do look very nice, especially with 
you know, the buckets. I like, I like how you're able to display them uh, on, on the, uh, the post there. So uh, like I said, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up questions, ask if you do not already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things that a professional geek might be interested in. Obviously star Wars and star Wars, the black series, we do lots of other things as well. So with that, have a great day.